Hello! I'm Jay. And I'm Alex. And Hi. you're watching Good Morning Thailand. Today mm. we're going to be talking about some of the news topics from across the country. Starting with our first story today, Bangkok can breathe mm. a bit easier as pollution levels are on the way down. Mm. Finally. Yay. Bangkok is experienced a, experiencing a decrease in harmful PM2.5 air pollutants with levels currently sitting below the safe threshold, offering residents a brief respite from air quality concerns. This improvement expected to continue until until March the 3rd is attributed to better airflow across the city with no fire hotspots detected within Bangkok itself. In contrast, the north and northeast regions of Thailand are facing rising air pollution levels due to wildfires. With 17 provinces reporting above average PM2.5 concentrations, the situation is particularly severe in Lampun and Sukhothai, where air quality levels have reached unhealthy levels. Wildfires in Wildfires in Chiang Mai, Mehong Son, and Pitsanulog are challenging to control. With efforts by firefighters and volunteers ongoing, the government is taking measures to address the situation, including strict enforcement of laws against farm burning. <clears throat> so, uh, Alex, we're safe until March the 3rd. What right. happens yeah. after March the 3rd? We don't know. I don't know. But at yeah. least we can breathe until March the 3rd. I, you know, I'll take a little respite. It's yeah. been rough lately. Yeah. And every time I walk out in the mornings now, masks are back on. People yes. are popping them back on. Yeah. Not for the not for the viral reasons, but no. for the pollution reasons. Mm. So, uh, yeah, it sucks. And, and I don't blame him. Mm. Have you noticed, like, your, your throat or your nose acting up? Oh, yeah. Man. Uh, yeah. Over the weekend, mm. I just suddenly started having, having like... Uh, allergies and i never have allergies that's so crazy because the same thing happened to me on saturday dude yeah. okay that's kind of funny we okay. need to get to the bottom of that yeah but, uh, yeah no, it was, i was just uh, something going on in the air yeah it's <laughs> something in know. the air it's pm 2.5 it moves <laughs> okay <laughs> well anyways on to our next story so yeah the uh thai prime minister is none too pleased with thailand's busiest airport the state of things is uh not good so uh prime minister sreta tavisin has demanded enhancements to the immigration control services at Savannaboom International Airport due to long queues and excessive wait times following his surprise inspection. Dissatisfied with the lengthy, pr lengthy procedures affecting passengers both on arrival and departure, he has called for the establishment of processing time limits. These concerns come ahead of scheduled improvements in Thailand's airport and aviation sector, including a new runway at Savannaboom Airport. And the airports of Thailand plans to invest 44 billion baht in expansions at Savannaboom and Don Mung International Airports, aiming to increase flight capacity and accommodate more passengers. These efforts are part of a broader ambition to transform Thailand into a regional aviation hub and enhance the initial impressions of foreign visitors to promote tourism. Uh, yeah, it is a, a madhouse at Savannah Boom mm. these days. I don't know, uh, when was the last time you went through there? Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, like two years ago, man. Yeah, I haven't traveled really? in a while. Really? Internationally, yeah. Not oh, really. Oh, yeah. I, so I was in, I went to Laos recently and oh, uh, going yeah. through that. Oh, my goodness. Good it old was Lao. In, it was insane, though. Like, trying to go through the, the immigration line was insane. The security mm. was insane. They're, yeah. it, they're overworked right now. Yeah. Well, mm -mm. it was la just last year that we were advising people and the airports of Thailand were advising people that instead of coming three hours early, please come four hours early because the lines are crazy. Oh, yeah. There's nothing better than having a great holiday in Thailand and then waiting four hours hours mm. for your next flight out yeah that's uh that'll get him something must be done yeah. <laughs> i think well uh, and mm. maybe it's just a technique to keep people in thailand like once you come here it's like yeah. don't leave it'll be four hours at the airport <laughs> you hear what that's like yeah. and then you overstay your visa mm. so. <laughs> more fines to collect yeah all right mm -hmm. well we're gonna move on to our next story this one's a little bit of a more sensitive topic mm -hmm. a teen mother's abusive parenting has gone viral and caused a police investigation. A 17-year-old mother in Patalung subdistrict, Sataheep, uh, let me start that story again. I apologize, not Patalung, it's Plu Taluang. Mm. Okay. A teen mother's abusive parenting has gone viral and caused a police intervention. A 17-year-old mother in Taluang, subdistrict of Satahip, was caught on CCTV assaulting her two-year-old daughter and confining her in a dog cage, sparking widespread outrage on social media. Following an investigation led by local authorities, the mother admitted to the act, claiming it was a disciplinary measure to address her child's misbehavior and attract the father's attention not to harm her. The child, who had been seen playing in the cage voluntarily and showed no signs of injury, has been placed 
placed in a shelter for psychological evaluation. The incident, which came to light after the father posted the CCTV footage online to press charges, has led to the involvement of the child and family shelter in Shunbury and further assessments for the mother and her family by professionals to decide on the next steps. Mm. God, this infuriates me. Well, babies having babies. This is a 17 year old yeah. mother, right? Yeah. Like, this is somebody who's not fully developed themselves. Mm. Um, and this, to me, highlights the issue of teen pregnancy here yeah. in Thailand and not having uh, enough of a, uh, a good sexual mm. education and then not having good sexual education mm. leads to not having good parenting yeah. education yeah, either. It's easy. I think, obviously, what the teen has done is horrible, mm. but it also probably goes to show, like, her own mental state that she thinks that kind of behavior is mm -hmm. normal. Yeah. What kind of a life has she lived? Right. So there's, there's probably a lot of ways to look at this, but let us know in the comment section below what you think about this story. Mm-hmm. Well, anyways, moving on to our next story. So, uh, yeah, make sure your portable devices are safe when you take them onto the planes because a battery pack just exploded and caused Whoa. it a bit of a panic. Yeah. Mm. So an explosion of a power bank on a Thai Air, Air Asia flight uh, to Nakhon Si Tamorat uh, caused concern among the 186 passengers, including industry minister Pim Prata Wichaikul. The incident, which filled the cabin with smoke, was quickly contained by the crew, allowing for a safe landing. Highlighting the ubiquity of power banks among travelers, Wichaikul urged for stricter checks on these devices, emphasizing the need for them to meet the Thai industrial standards for the heat resistance. The Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research, and Innovation will investigate the event to prevent further occurrences. Now, uh, this was interesting. I don't know if you've noticed lately but when you're going through security they're checking the wattage on your battery packs now they're really like making sure that whatever is going yeah. through is safe and still some things are getting through and uh, uh blowing up so uh that's not not the best time that you want to see your uh you know smoke filling the cabin mm. it's always concerning hate mm. cabins uh <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right. Mm. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on to our next story, uh, going to the Thai government. Mm. The Thai government is advancing a regulation to mandate large graphic health warnings on alcohol products, just like the beautiful images on the cigarette packaging in mm. Thailand. The development is led by the Alcohol Beverage Control Committee and the Department of Disease Control. The initiative facing a backlash from alcohol producers and the tourism sector aims aims to curb alcohol consumption, but is criticized for potentially being ineffective and raising production costs, especially for small-scale producers. The proposed warnings covering at least a third of the container have also drawn aesthetic concerns from opponents like Tao Pipop Lim Jitrakon, a Move Forward Party MP, who argues they could diminish the artistic value of craft beer designs and may not effectively reduce alcohol consumptions. Critics, including the Khao San Road Business Association, fear the regulation could negatively affect sales and violate international trade agreements, while its effectiveness and impact on consumer behavior remain contentious. The public has a brief window to comment on the regulation before it proceeds to become law, inviting widespread debate on its potential implications for the industry and public health. Now, a lot of people have co commented and uh, hated the pictures on mm. the cigarette packaging. Uh, but yeah, alcohol packaging. Why, is, why stop at cigarettes? Alcohol is a killer. Mm. I, I'm, I'm sure many people have many comments and thoughts regarding this. Yeah, I don't, you know, I'm not sure, right? Like, this is a, it's an interesting thing because obviously I mean, everybody that, I don't know, you must be living under a rock if you don't know the health risks of cigarettes, right? <laughs> but they yeah. still need to slap them on there. Mm. I think the point is to make these vices less uh, appealing. Feeling. Like mm. they're saying this could affect the aesthetics, and I think that's the point. They want yeah. people to do it less, so yeah. this is a way to discourage people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love how they were like, you know, craft beers, they'd use really good artistic uh, pictures to get people to drink the beer. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, yeah, true. I'm not going to lie. I mean, everybody has branding. Yeah. Like, that's the point. Why but, would yeah. you ruin that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, when you look at it from the government's point of view, it makes sense that, okay, if this helps less people drink it, then great. Mm. Uh, yeah. But it also ruins the experience for a lot of people who are enjoying yeah. it responsibly, yeah. if that makes uh, sense, right? Like, I think yeah. this can, this can <laughs> be debated forever. I think many people will have a lot of opinions on it. Let us know uh, yours. Yeah, yeah, let us know yours. <laughs> All right, anyways, on to our last story. So uh, Thailand is shooting for the international spotlight by providing the backdrop for the new season of HBO's 
White Lotus. Mm. Now, this strategic partnership between HBO's hit series The White Lotus and Thailand is aiming to boost tourism through the allure of the show's filming locations. With season three set in the picturesque landscapes of Thailand, the country has offered significant financial incentives to the production, including an increased rebate for international productions and a waiver on personal income tax for foreign talent. This collaboration is expected to enhance Thailand's tourism industry, which is recovering from the pandemic's impact. The anticipation is based on previous season's success in driving tourists to filming locations, with significant increases in searches and bookings for the featured resorts. The Thai government, recognizing the potential for a surge in tourism, provided support to make Thailand a competitive filming location. This move is part of a broader trend of leveraging popular entertainment to promote travel destinations, with the White Lotus serving as a prime example of how a country can become an enticing product rather than strategic placement, or sorry, through strategic placement in media. Mm. Um, yeah, this is it's just a, a nationwide product placement is what we're looking at with uh, the new season of White Lotus. I still haven't seen that show, but I've heard uh, rave reviews. Gasp. Oh, you have to watch, man. That's why I was so excited. I've been watching since it's it started. It's thriller, right? Uh, kind of thriller, comedy, fun. Like, they're they're mysterious a little Ooh. bit, um, but they have iconically funny lines. Okay. Um, it's Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know. Uh, the, the less I say, the better. You're going to okay. enjoy it. But right. uh, that's it's always in beautiful, exotic locations. So okay. Thailand provides the perfect backdrop, I think. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Those are some of the news topics from across the country today. You can, of course, find more stories on thetiger.com. We'll see you live again tomorrow morning, members. Until then, see you. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm.